Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a quick technique that you can use to mirror UVW coordinates in your models in 3D Studio Max. This technique is especially important for people in the low poly field who are working on video games because they know more than anyone how precious texture space is. So I've built a simple, um, it's kind of like a train station model and I've applied a cellular map to help you know fill in high frequency details so we can kind of see what what it is that we're working with. Let's take a look at this texture sheet. Click edit. So there are sections of this model um, that are just one cluster and there's no overlapping UVWs there. And then there are other sections of the model where there is overlapping. So this is one of those sections that does not overlap. And then these windows, for example, do overlap. You'll notice that when I select, you know, pieces of it in the Edit UVWs window, I'm actually getting several separate polygons, several separate clusters. So what if you need to take a section of the model and convert it from, you know, one, a one shot, one, uh, one cluster into several clusters that overlap perfectly? Let me show you how. So I'm going to delete my UVW. There we go. You select the polygons that you want to mirror, say I want to get these four, and you detach those polygons. So click Detach, click OK. Just select that new object and apply a symmetry modifier to it. You now have polygons and UVWs that have been made symmetrical. Then you just select your original object again and reattach. It's that easy. Now, first things first, we need to clean up a little bit. Select all of the vertices in your object. So I went into vertex selection mode and hit control A. And I'm going to weld them together, right? Because there are uh, six, eight, there are eight vertices in the perimeter that are now overlapping and they need to be welded together. So I double check before 527 vertices, after uh, 519, that's a difference of eight, perfect. So we're not welding any vertices that are not associated with this technique. So I'll click OK. And let's take a look at the UVW sheet again. Perfect. So now you can tell that where there used to be these four polygons all in one place, now I've got two polygons. And when I select them, I get both sides. Now I've got all this texture space again and I can do anything with this block. So again, it's a very powerful technique and it does yield massive benefits. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks. Number one, the most obvious is that um, you can't use texture baking when you use this technique. 3D Studio Max will not let you bake overlapping polygons onto the texture map. Even if they're the same, even if it's identical, it, it'll just throw an error, so you can't do that. The next problem is um, if you have, say, two sides of a building, like this one here, so this is one side, this is a corresponding face on the other side. If I put text on this side and it looks properly, like Coca-Cola, on the other side it'll read backwards, Coca-Cola, because these two are, are overlapping UVWs. So you can't use things that are like text, you can't use textures that won't look properly, that won't appear properly if they've been flipped. One last thing that you can actually fix a little bit is this symmetry modifier leaves some artifacts, right? It's, it's pretty clear that this has been mirrored. What you can do, and this is a little bit of a cheap trick, you can select two of the polygons, and this only works for, for polygons that are perfectly square, right? You, you can't have any weird shapes, and you just flip it. And now you'll get a, a tiling effect rather than a mirroring effect. So it's a little bit of a fix there. It's now much harder to tell that it's been that these two are symmetrical. So there you have it. By detaching some polygons, mirroring them using the symmetry modifier, and then reattaching those polygons, you can mirror the UVW coordinates of those polygons and save a lot of space on your texture sheet. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.